Hey guys, this is to let you know tonight's live stream where we usually do the Church of the Eternally Secure will have a special program. It may run longer. There's a growing heresy of universalism and full preterism as if no prophecies have to be fulfilled. It's all been done. The Millennial Kingdom's here. They over-spiritualize everything. We have no hope. So if you want to come and listen to us discuss this, uh, great. Also, I wanted to address something. There's many people that are going into this heresy that Jesus was just a man. Uh, and so they read all the verses on his humanity and then deny all the verses on his divinity and his pre-existence. And I keep giving them verses about how he created the world. Uh, not even bringing up before Abraham was I am, which is the name of God in the Old Testament. All the Christophanies. In the Old Testament, you hardly ever see anything about his humanity in the Old Testament except the vision of Daniel, which saw one like unto the Son of Man and the one like a Son of Man in with uh, Radshach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire. Uh, but it's always his divinity, his pre-incarnate appearances, like when he ate with Abraham and the two angels on his way to Sodom, uh, that that was Christ, that's a Christophany, before he manifested in the flesh, See, his humanity had a beginning, but Jesus Christ himself, as God, does not have a beginning. Uh, it says that uh, there, the, the Godhead is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, I don't fight too much against modalism, which believes that they're all one that manifest in three, but uh, Jesus couldn't sit down at the right hand of himself. Meaning, you know, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. It means they're all one spirit, one will, one divine essence. Um, but it's clear that it's three persons. No, the Catholic Church didn't make it up. No, it's not paganism. But there are pagan counterfeits. Satan will always counterfeit the truth. So we have to look in Scripture. Now, one of the things they do, now they will not answer the clear verses I give them that says, Versus, you know, like he said, I, I came down from heaven. He, Jesus is the bread that came down from heaven. Uh, they deny in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. They try to say that's just a spoken word. N no. Uh, when a son was the father's will and word, the son was a physical being. It's a literal entity. The word was God. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. See, he took on the form of a man. So, uh, he was all God and all man, but they're denying the God part. They're trying to say he didn't even exist until he was born. This day have I begotten thee. Yeah, this day his humanity was begotten by the Father through the Holy Spirit. Okay, but he pre-existed. It said, uh, Jesus cries out to the Father, restore to me the glory I had with you before the world was. They will not answer that. They won't. They'll just keep denying it and just bring me, but this, this, this. Yeah, these are all his humanity verses. But you're, see, if something is not 100% true, it's a lie. All right? You have to take the full counsel of God. Not just part of it. Not just 8 out of 10 things that match, but the other two don't. But we're going to just throw those off. No, it has to be 100% matching truth. Or it's a lie. So what they try to do here in Revelation is say that he's not the Alpha and Omega. And there's one verse where they do that. I think it's uh, Revelation 1.8. Uh, let me see. It's like, I am Alpha and Omega, says the Lord God, who is and was and who is to come, the Almighty. Um, and, you know, they're saying, no, that's God the Father. Well, there's some places they can actually twist that and make it, no, it's not Jesus. But here's one of the places where Jesus himself says, I am the Alpha and Omega, and there's no denying it's Jesus, okay? So in Revelation 1, 11, it says, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and last. What thou seest, write in a book and send to the seven churches. Now, we know it's Jesus writing to the seven churches. But even if you don't want to assume that, first of all, the book's called the Revelation, the Apocalypse of Jesus Christ, the unveiling and revealing of Jesus Christ. So the whole thing is to reveal Jesus to the world. But we're not even going to use that. We're, I'm going to show you how we know. And he said, I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. That's the seven churches. And in the midst of the candlesticks, like one unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. And in his, hair, his head and hairs were like wool, white as snow. His eyes were as a flame. 
his feet, and he goes on to explain, and his right hand were seven stars, all right, and when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, fear not, I am the first and the last, I am he that liveth and was dead, okay, so this is Jesus, and behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death, so he is the first and the last, the Alpha and Omega, who lived, was dead, and will live forevermore. You cannot deny that's Jesus Christ as Alpha and Omega. But it doesn't even matter, because whatever I show them, they're going to still say, no, this day have I begotten thee. That's the day of his humanity having a beginning. But he is the bread that came down from heaven. He knew the Father. He was with the Father before the world existed. All things that were made, Christ made them. Before he became a man. Okay, there's so many verses. And then there's God the Father talking to God the Son. It says, Thy throne, O God. He saith unto the Son, Thy throne, O God, is forever. It's clear that he is divine. Okay, I'm just going to keep fighting for it. Because, again, 100%, if it's not 100% true, it's a lie. So, I'm just going to, I want to make sure you have the right Jesus. They're denying his divinity, his pre-existence. Before Abraham was, I am. It's clear. He knew Abraham before because he is the I am in the Old Testament. But we don't even have to use that one. You can just use clear verses. Before the world was, he was with the Father before the world was. And it wasn't a metaphor of him being in the thoughts and heart of the Father. He was physically, literally with him. You know, yes, there's a lot of paganistic teachings, but they're all a counterfeit of the truth. You don't throw out the truth because Satan counterfeited it, okay? Uh, also, just wanted to tell you to join us tonight. I will be doing a quick, like, 30-second video to post the link of our live chat and live stream tonight uh, going against universalism and hyper-preterism. Uh, uh, yes, some things have been fulfilled, but not everything. It's, it's not true. Uh, so, in any case, uh, join us tonight to discuss it. Last week, we had almost 60 people live. That, that's a lot of live chat, uh, and it was wonderful. So, hopefully, I will see you guys tonight. And um, I'm going to do something right now on the Sunday being the Lord's Day is not a replacement for Israel's Sabbath. People are all confused on that. So, I'll do that real quick. All right, God bless.